Right, welcome ladies and gents. We're here to look at the Acolyte trailer. No, wait, it's not a reaction. God damn, no. Uh, I thought we would take a look at the awful dislikes, basically, and the general feedback to a trailer which some people on the internet have claimed is peak Star Wars. You are clearly young. This is not peak Star Wars. All right. Peak Star Wars like Empire Strikes Back. All right, calm down. Uh, but this just goes to show how divided the fan base is. Uh, and I think this is uh, its just interesting. It's one of these things that I think is fascinating to take a look at. Uh, because it goes to show just how bad the brand is. Um, I, I also think, you know, the views that it's got in 24 hours. Because I am recording this shortly after 24 hours. So, uh, it's what, 9 o'clock. So... Yeah, I mean, you're looking at, uh, I don't know, about 30-odd hours, something like that, since its release. So, 6.6 .6 million views. It's not great. Yeah, it's, number, it's number two on trending as well, right? So, 6.6 .6 million views. Number two on trending, which means YouTube has put it there in front of everyone. And still only 6.6 .6 million people have watched it. That's actually really bad. That's not great. When you're thinking about the user base of, of uh, YouTube... It also being on trending, number two on trending, which YouTube can artificially change, and they probably did do for this. That's really bad. That's not good. Uh, and the dislikes speak volume. You know, 169, uh, 69, uh, uh, 1,000 dislikes, which you can install this. It's a plugin on like Chrome and Firefox. You know, you can bring the dislikes back. Versus 137,000 likes. So it's, it's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, again, we, we have the comments. The comments are the best part of these trailers now. Genuinely comedy gold. Plot twist. This series is a Star Wars Jedi training simulator in the Matrix. Because they're adding all this kung fu crap. Which was never in Star Wars. Not to this extent. Close your eyes, alien. I can't. <laughs> Close your eyes, what do you see? I see that somehow Palpatine returned. They're just getting memed. Star Wars is a meme. That's what Star Wars is a meme. This is about power and who's allowed to use it. So much irony in that quote for this franchise. Yeah. As long as the episode doesn't stream off of a spire servers, we should be fine. Youngling, I see fire, Jedi Master. Okay. This kid is a lost course. <laughs> Um, so for the ones that can't see, 134,000 likes, 153,000 dislikes. That was two hours ago. So the dis the dislikes have gone up significantly. The likes have not gone up, ma you know, that much. Close your eyes. What do you see? A great pretender evil coming to extinguish a great legacy. <laughs> Close your eyes. Shark, I'll die. Uh, and... They're also, close your eyes, what do you see? The message. Yeah, true. <laughs> Look at these. Close your eyes, what do you see? I see failure. Close your eyes, what do you see? I see my mother researching spiders in the Amazon before she died. <laughs> uh, this is the same trailer as well, by the way. This is the same trailer that they released at Star Wars Celebration last year. So it's been a whole year and they've not done anything different to the trailer. It's the same thing. Uses the force to open a door. Which looks like they open in that way anyway. The way a kid pretends to use the force when the supermarket doors open. Edit, as have I. Again, close your eyes. What do you see? The burning remnants of a franchise I used to love. Holy shit. I love the part where Poe says, somehow the Sith returned. Gave me chills. Close your eyes. Anakin runs in the temple and ends the whole show. What do you see? I see trees are green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. Uh, I'm not going to sing again. Uh, I've been waiting so long to have a science fiction story that's creativity, character and love put into it. So that's why after seeing Dune Part 2, I went and saw it again in IMAX. They are just a joke. What do you see? Nothing. I just cancelled my subscription. <laughs> oh, Wow. And the thing is, this show directly contradicts the prequels as well. 
when they say about the Sith and they're like impossible you know they've not been around for a millennium or something like that we've not seen them so like, what 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 are you doing then this directly contradicts everything that's come before it and there's an interview with Leslie Headland going around where she's literally talking about how bear with me this will make sense she's literally talking about how she watched frozen and frozen was inspirational to her as a queer person because it was a relationship between two people that was platonic so she wanted to represent that in star wars so she made the acolyte i'm looking for the i'm looking for it now it was the most it was really bizarre like it was really bizarre so i'm trying to find it because it was the weirdest thing um right i managed to find it god it took ages so here it is we'll just because um. i want you to listen this is the weirdest interview this is her inspiration behind making this show and it's just all kinds of fucked up genuinely so bizarre as a grown-ass woman, I um, I cried through the entire. Um, when I saw Frozen as a as a grown-ass woman, I um, I cried through the entire movie. I, there was just something about the relationship between the sisters, the the like de villainization of uh, the classic kind of fairy tale bad bad guy, you know, um, uh, the concept of true love being between two sisters and not a heterosexual relationship. Like it just, mm -hmm. it just destroyed me completely. And I thought, gosh, you know, I would love to make something like this. That is, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, Disney, meaning it's something that like my parents would have allowed me to see when I was younger as a queer person, gotcha. but I would have been able to understand as a queer person. And I think I, I would have had a completely different life. And so I really was inspired by it and was like, God, I would love to make a story like this. Um, and so when I was developing this original idea to pitch to Kathleen, um, I thought, well, you know, it can't just be that, you know, when you're pitching Star Wars, you have to pull from what, you know, George was also interested in. Like, it can't just be like, well, I'm referencing, especially if you're going to set something, you know, in the, during the High Republic or end of High Republic into prequels, you, you don't have the Skywalker saga. Like, you can't uh -huh. reference a character that was created by George and or Filoni. Like, you have to create your own new characters. Right. Okay. Well, did, did you get that? Did, did you get that? It stemmed from Frozen. Some weird true love relationship between two people that she wanted to replicate in Star Wars. What? There you go. Star Wars is dead.